I'm from Pune uh, and uh, I did my uh, bachelor's in computer engineering from the Pimpri Chinchwara College of Engineering which is under uh, Sabitri Bhai Phule Pune University which in my time used to be called University of Pune. Um, I graduated in 2018 so 2014 was when I started and 2018 I graduated and after that uh, I, I worked for three years at Persistent Systems as a senior software engineer. Then I looked at uh, a couple of programs and the field of human computer interaction sort of uh, struck me as something that would really be uh, fitting in well with my interests. So I looked at a couple of programs and uh, University of Michigan had uh, a program called Master of Science in Information Science which had a various specialization inside them so there was HCI, there was applied data science, there was social computing and then there was uh, uh, other tracks. So I figured that it looks really good and the faculties were good, the academics looked strong, everything was pretty fine. So then I applied for that and I got in for fall 2020 but then COVID happened so I deferred to fall 21. So US had most of the colleges and because of you know uh, Silicon Valley and how much uh, development the technology industry has seen here uh, it sort of has built very well and matured very well out here and it's starting to do in India too now but for for now America was the only one that fit in well so I didn't really consider any other country it was just USA for me so uh, Stanford was the topmost choice for me they have something called as the MS in symbolic systems then there was Michigan University of Michigan Ann Arbor. There was Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech's MS in HCI is pretty good. Uh, Indiana University Bloomington. Then I, I had Iowa State. Uh, then I had an MS in CS uh, programs that I applied to, which had specialization in HCI. So for that, there was uh, Virginia Tech and there was Clemson University. Uh, for my GRE, I had a, a 159 for uh, verbal and 160 for quant and a 4.5 on the AWA. So that's 319. The course is a little more uh, intense than I had expected. So I have a 48 credits course. So I have to get 48 credits for graduation, which is way more than what is usually done. Like other other, other programs that applied to were like, you know, 32 or something like that, minus 48. So my course load is significantly more uh, every semester. I also have an internship, a mandatory internship in between, which I think fits in very well. But uh, my course load is a little more, so it's more intense than what I had expected. But that being said, I really enjoy what I study. That's roughly around twenty three to twenty five thousand dollars a semester. This is on the higher side. Michigan is really expensive for international students, so you fall into out of state category. If you're an in state student, then it's it's quite cheap. It's it's almost half of that. Regarding scholarships. I did not get any scholarship from Michigan. I did get from other colleges that I got admits from, but then I didn't go to them. Uh, for Michigan, I didn't have any scholarships, but they do give assistantships, uh, scholarships if your profile is that good. If you become a GSI, you get a full tuition fee waiver here. So $25,000 is completely waived off, plus you get a stipend and uh, you, get a, you get an upgraded health insurance, which is an em health insurance for employees. Uh, so you have a lot of opportunities available. Uh, even if you don't get a full tuition fee waiver, you have part-time job opportunities and you can do tutoring also. Uh, you have uh, something called as instructional IAs, which are instructional aid, which are not GSIs, but they are in a lower capacity as GSI. You don't get a full tuition fee waiver, but you do get a stipend and you do get to be involved with the professor and the course. Uh, it depends on the amount, obviously. If I was in a cheaper college, I would be lesser in debt and faster to pay back. So I'd love only from the field of CS since I'm doing a specialization that is under CS. Uh, CS generally have higher paying jobs so it's generally easier to pay it back quicker if you want to. And if you want to a cheaper college and you get a higher paying job that's even easier for you people can pay it back in like a year. I've seen people pay it back in like a year or two. There are a lot of trails you know like you go on treks in India you can go on treks here, a lot of nature trails, a lot of national parks, things like that. Uh, especially in Michigan, you have uh, the Great Lakes, you can go visit them. Oh, I have been to Chicago also. Chicago is the closest place to my uh, city. So Ann Arbor to Chicago is just like a, a three hour drive and like a four hour train, train journey. You have clubs and everything, although I don't, I don't do clubbing, but 
you have that as an option too if you are really into uh, all that partying culture you have student events that are happening a lot of them have uh, freebies that are being given out you go there you get a free t-shirt something you get free lunch free dinner free food please like share and subscribe to yoket uh, yoket has been a to be honest yoket has been a very uh, good partner for me uh, in my higher education journey and i have used it a lot for the last 4 years or three including my father too my parents too have been uh, using yoket for all their go as a go to for all the information so please do like share and subscribe and uh, you know support them to continue helping more people like me